In this session, we will see about multiplexer. A multiplexer is a device having 2 raised to n inputs and only a single output. And this n stands for select lines. So, number of inputs depends upon the number of select lines. If we draw the uh, logic diagram for multiplexer, sorry, if we draw the logic symbol for multiplexer, we can draw it like this. So, this is m by 1 max, that means we have m input lines 1, 2, etc. up to m and to select the inputs we have select lines and we have n select lines. So, these are the select lines and these are the inputs and the important thing is we have only one output in multiplexer. So, a multiplexer is a device having 2 raised to n inputs where n is the number of select lines and now we will see the first multiplexer that is 2 by 1 max or multiplexer. It is also known as 2 by 1 max. So, a 2 by 1 max means here we have seen m by 1 max means we have m input lines. Therefore, a 2 by 1 max means we have 2 input. So, first we can draw the uh, logic symbol. So, this is 2 by 1 max that means we have 2 inputs. So, let this be I 0 and I 1. So, in order to select 2 inputs, we need 1 select line, let this be S 0. That means, using 1 bit, that means using 1 bit S 0, we have 2 combinations, S 0 can be 0 or S 0 can be 1. That means, 2 combinations can be obtained from 1 input in binary. Since we have only 2 inputs, this is enough, 2 combination is enough to select this. So, according to the number of inputs, we need to increase the number of select lines. Since there is only 2 inputs, we need only 1 select line because using 1 select line, we can select 2 combination and we have only 1 output. Let the output is y. We will draw the truth table. We have the inputs. Uh, sorry, in multiplexer, while writing the truth table, we will write we will write the select lines and the outputs. Since we have only one select line, we will write that and the output is y. So, that is if S0 is 0, if S0 is 0, then I0 will be available as the output. That means, we are selecting the input 0 i1 will not reach the output, but if S0 is 1, 
then i1 will reach the output i0 will be blocked by the multiplexer this is how the select lines select the inputs which input should come as the output in a multiplexer so if s0 is 1 i0 will be at the output and if s0 is 1 i1 will be at the output that means if s0 is 0 output is i0 and if s0 is 1 in the output we will get i1 so we can write the equation of output y is equal to so this is logic expression y is equal to so from the true table you can see we will get the output i0 if s0 is 0 that is s0 bar in the output in the output we will get both i0 and i1 we will get all the inputs at the output but not at the same time when we will get i0 we will get i0 when s0 is 0 that is s0 bar or we will get i1 when we will when we will get i1 when s0 is 1 so this is the equation so we will get both i0 and i1 at the output based on select line input we will get i0 when s0 is 0 and we will get i1 when s0 is 1 now we will draw the logic diagram 